very welcome to the channel. I covered this on the live stream that I did last night. If you didn't know, I do live streams uh, most Mondays around 9 or 9.30 GMT. And someone asked this and I just thought this is, I, like, I, I couldn't wrap my head around it. Now, if you don't know what we're talking about, Looney Tunes writer. Uh, Looney Tunes is being rebooted, right, for HBO. And they're turning Elmer, Elmer Fudd, the hunter, um, who doesn't kill anything because he's not able to because he's terrible, uh, into someone that doesn't carry firearms. So he's being used as propaganda for nothing. No, literally no reason at all. Um, and there's been a whole bunch of backlash about it. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me, personally. I don't understand why I could I could just babble on for ages about this. I just don't understand it. So that's what we're going to take a look at today. Before we do, guys, this poster right here, you can grab your own, actually, down below in the description box, along with some posters, uh, other posters, as well as hoodies and t-shirts for my film, my original film, which I am writing, uh, I've written it, and I am directing it. Next month, it's called Black Fields. I'm crowdfunding for it, so you can support by buying stuff. Uh, also, by donating on the GoFundMe, which is linked down below in the description box. If you donate $5 or more, you're in for a chance of winning an awesome weapon prop. One of one made uh, for, for the production uh, and inspired by it and, and all that good stuff. So, check it out. Let's dive into this, right? So, Michael Ruocco responds to the fan backlash. Now, wh what, like, what, what purpose does this serve? Now, Elmer Fudd never, um, he, 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 ne he never killed Bugs Bunny, very clearly, right? Like, he, he was never able to. He's terrible. Um, so, I, I just, I, the mind boggles. Like, I just simply cannot work out what purpose this serves. Is this for some... You know, is this anti-guns? I, I don't understand it. Like, this is very much a U US-based argument here, because in the UK we don't have guns. Uh, we have knives, which was a huge problem, in fact. We have a knife crime epidemic. Uh, it's horrendous. People are being stabbed up left, right, and centre. Um, but this argument, I don't, I don't see... I don't see the problem. And I'm sure there's many people watching this that are just going, well, this is just PC gone mad. You know, this is utterly ludicrous. Um, there was never anywhere in the original Looney Tunes that they glorified gun violence. And that's that's the only angle I could think that they're taking here, is that they believe it's a glorification of gun violence in some shape or form. That's all I can imagine, because what else would it be? Um, so let's take a look, right? So Bugs Bunny's longtime rival, Elmer Fudd, We'll have to find a new way to take out his arch nemesis. Well, look, at the end of the day, it's not Elmer Fudd then, is it? You know? Like, it's just not. Um, in the upcoming revival of Looney Tunes cartoons on HBO Max... God, say that ten times. That would irritate you, wouldn't it? The Looney Tunes cartoons. Uh, Elmer, Elmer Fudd will no longer use firearms. Showrunner Peter Browngart made that abundantly clear in a recent interview with the New York Times. Uh, and he stated, we're not doing guns, but can do cartoony violence. TNT, the Acme stuff, all that was kind of grandfathered in. But why? Is this some kind of stand? Like, it's not the same character. What is he going to be now? Like a conservationist? What's Elmer Fudd going to be now? A, a conservationist? What, what else is he going to be to be up against Bugs Bunny? You know? What could it possibly be? Uh, in the classic Looney Tunes cartoon, Fudd routinely hunted Bugs Bunny using a rifle. Now, Browngart indicates that a number of the cartoons might be too adult-oriented. Saying, so, who do you think watched them back in the day? You utter bellend. Um, some of them may, some of them have maybe gone a little too far, so they might come out in a different format. <sighs> Did you watch this when you were a kid, ladies and gents? Has it harmed you? The, what, what, the only thing I see happening, right, when they consistently change things and cotton wool it, all I look at now is the plebs doing all the mass riots in UK, you know, shouting F the police to people that actively protect them, to the uneducated fools going, oh, I just, I just, I can't, the, wor the world, it's terrible, 
I just don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense to me. And if it was good enough for me, it's good enough for them now. But apparently it's not. And most people that watch my channel are fairly grounded, fairly normal individuals. But then you go down a few generations and Jesus Christ, the most entitled little pricks you've ever seen in your life. And you wonder why. Like, you wonder why? Never worked in the, a day in their life, yet they're complaining that, the you know, uh, cause a massive public disturbance and massive public damage that is going to come out of my tax and your tax. They've never worked in the day in their life and they're complaining about oppression. Oh, piss off. This is a joke. This is just going to add to the nonsense that people will be spitting in again, like another 10, 15 years time when these kids that watch this grow up. Um, he added, maybe they'll come out packaged for an adult swim type of thing. Uh, Browngart would also detail that Looney Tunes grates against the current wave of anti-bullying. Everybody needs to be friends. Everybody needs to get along. What are you going to do with um, the Roadrunner? What are you going to do with Roadrunner? What are you going to do with um, Speedy Gonzalez? <laughs> Apparently, I've, there you go. Anyway, <laughs> professional. I had an uh, Amazon package. What are you going to do with Speedy Gonzalez? You're not going to be able to call him Speedy Gonzalez anymore, are you? What's he going to be called? Like, what, what? what's it going to be? You know? Like, seriously, what, what? what is it going to be after that? It's just ridiculous. Anti-bullying? What are you talking about? What, what? What's wrong with it? There were some good messages in there. How are you going to How are you going to convey those messages if you don't portray any of the violence or aggression that was exhibited between everyone? Don't you see what I mean? This is part of the problem. Um, so anyway, he explained that Looney Tunes is pretty much the an antithesis of that. He added, it's two characters in conflict, sometimes getting pretty violent. Yeah, with good morals. With good morals thrown in. Uh, fans would not be happy with the news that Browngart and company would no longer show Elmer Fudd using guns. Um, and he said Elmer Fudd without his guns is like Yosemite Sam without his moustache. Yep, I would agree, because it's not the same character. It's just simply not the same. Um... Then what's the effing point? Yep, absolutely. Especially because Elmer Third and uh, Bugs Bunny was that they were Looney Tunes. That was the central characters of Looney Tunes, right? Looney Tunes, gun violence has inspired us to take away Elmer Fudd's signature hunting rifle. Looney Tunes. Yeah, like it's this it's just trash. Like it is absolutely trash. Robot Chicken went full on Simpsons when it came to predicting the future of Looney Tunes and Elmer Fudd. Yep, I mean, we can kinda, you know, get into this. It's there. Um, Lady Alchemy creator Martina Marcota expressed that this move to remove Fudd's guns was part of an agenda to erase the old. This is how they influence new generations. We will no longer see the world we once knew. And that is that is absolutely correct. And, you know, there's an argument to be had for that. But in doing so as well, the other argument is the fact that what are they learning? What, what are you learning from this? What are you getting from it? Literally nothing now. You know, like, there's no morals there. If they don't have any acts of aggression between one another, which is apparently what they're going to do, because they're not going to have that at all, where's the, you know, the cartoonish um, morals and lessons that were had? It hasn't affected any of the generation which actually grew up with it, has it? No. In fact, they're probably the, some of the most grounded, hard-working generations there are. But then you look at how the generations have gone, how much, how, how a bunch of, you know, bellends they are, you just go, well, what's going wrong? Now, what is going wrong? What's been changed? Oh, right, probably all of this crap. Oh, well, maybe it's that then. Um, Elmer Fudd will not have a gun. New Looney Tunes, no word yet on if uh, the French skunk will still try to rape cats. Yeah, well, no, they can't have that either, can they? Following this pushback, Warner Brothers animator and writer uh, Michael Rocco defended the decision. Of course you did, yeah. Because um, uh, apparently Elmer, Elmer Fudd used a, uses a gun, claimed that the character was defined by his challenged masculinity do you guys seriously care whether or not elmer fudd has a gun in our shorts you know how many gags we can do with guns fairly few well it seemed to run for a good few years on looney tunes didn't it douche canoe um he added and uh, and the best were already done by the old guys it's limiting it was never about the gun it was about elmer's flawed challenged masculinity so what else are you going to choose to represent his is flawed masculinity um in ch you know, in, in conflict with Bugs Bunny when you can't show conflict. Tell me that, huh? Oh, oh, uh, smart one. Like, tell me, what is it? What's it going to be? 
Also, think about context, about what's going on in the world and how long ago our show started production, late 2017, early 2018, right on the hills of a record number of mass shootings, particularly the horrific one in Las Vegas. Nobody wanted to touch guns working in media. Sure, but don't, you don't, what, we're just going to remove guns completely now, are we? We're just going to pretend they don't exist, like, la 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 like, what? You just look like a child. You look like an utter bellend. Um, I'm not here to put words in other people's mouths or anything, but as someone who worked for two years with these characters, I personally did not care or miss Elmer's rifle. Of course you wouldn't because you worked on it. If anyone that listens to you, they're, they're a moron. Correction, I worked for nearly five years with these characters. Wabbit, new Looney Tunes. No one cares, mate. It's just dumb. Uh, ha! My last word on the subject, OK Boomer. Well, that says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> that says it all. It tells everyone that no one... Oh, but that violence is OK, is it? Sure, okay. Anyway, this is super lame. It's super dumb, doesn't serve any purpose. Uh, I think this kind of stuff only serves to literally... Um, oh, well, look, the end result's not good, is it? The the people of today are not very good, are they? Let's be honest. So anyway, love to hear your thoughts. Let me know down below. If you're new here, hit subscribe. Step to date on the world of pop culture movie news by hitting the bell notification icon. Thank you so much. Take care.